Okay, so we're gonna do an install on the West Coast saw, stucco stacks, air filter for a MS, a steel MS-291, MS-362, and an MS-391. Some of the basic tools you wanna grab, it's a flathead screwdriver, 5 16 socket, and a T10 Torx bit. I also like to use a little needle nose for grabbing stuff. All right, here we go. So you wanna take the stock top cover off, pull the stock air filter off, set that aside. You're gonna see two nuts. This is when that 5 16 or eight millimeter socket's gonna come into play. You can use either one. Both will drive those nuts. So you're gonna to wanna to take those off. Set those aside. We got the two nuts off and put those on the bench. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to take this baffle off for this air filter to fit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take this, this right side rubber mount for this carburetor bracket. You wanna to wanna to take that and pop it off. So I just push it forward, kind of snake it out of there. Then it'll come free off the carburetor. The two bolts, the two studs is the bolts that come off the carburetor. You kind of want to push the carburetor back. You want to slide this bracket off of there. Keep track of your wiring on this side. Make sure everything doesn't slip, anything doesn't slip off. So you take that T10 Torx and you're going to want to take and remove the two screws that hold this baffle in place. I already took one off. I'm going to take the other side off for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to take that T10 back the screw off and the baffle will start to come off take both of them out on your side you have both of them in take it take this baffle put that off to the side take the screw out put that on your bench what you're going to want to do now is you want to take the supplied rubber plugs that are in your little bag when you buy the filter you want to push those in to where those screws were if you don't put these in you're going to get debris and, and dust into your intake. We don't want that. That defeats the purpose of this air filter upgrade. Just kind of push on it, sneak it in, and go in through your, with your needle nose and you can just pull it through. You can see I have both of them in there. One, two. So what you want to do now is you're going to want to push the carburetor back, kind of flex that boot in the intake slide your bracket back on secure it in place put that right side rubber mount back in place i use a flathead screwdriver and kind of press it you can see where it, when it's home so you want everything looking just like it was when you opened the saw up So after you get the bracket back on, pushed into place, you're gonna to wanna to reinstall those two nuts. Again, use your 5 16 or eight millimeter driver socket. Put those back on. You don't wanna over tighten these. I like to snug them up with the impact here. Then I'll switch over to a hand tool. And finish them off by hand. You don't want to over tighten these and break anything. So now that they have that installed, you can go ahead and install your oiled air filter onto the stock bracket. It just slides over. And you can go ahead and tighten it up. Make sure it's nice and snug. Go ahead, reinstall stock top cover once you have it all installed everything's oiled ready to go you're gonna want to perform the auto tune reset so you just put it in choke take the chain brake off let it run for 90 seconds and uh, and you'll be good to go. Then it'll self-adjust to the different air filter that you just put on your saw. You're gonna increase performance and airflow 
and uh, you're, you're gonna have a better air filter at the end of the day. Thanks for watching and thanks for buying.